In this video, we're gonna go outside because it's British summertime, it's sweltering, it's too nice to be inside, stuck behind the desk in front of my famous blue wall. So we're gonna set a trial up. This is probably gonna be part one, but it's pretty cool what we're looking at, so let's crack straight on with it. So as you can see, we're in my outdoor office, and that's because we're gonna set up a trial today. Now, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe to it. I've actually created a dedicated playlist for all the previous trials that I've done where I look at soil, plants, microbiology, and see how the two interact when we put them through different conditions. So do go and have a look at that after this video. Let's get on with this trial. Now, the specific item we're gonna look at today is a seaweed-based product. And in fact, I've done a whole video about seaweed previously. You should definitely go and check that out if you're not up to scratch with what it is and how it can help you to grow better plants and crops. But the product we're gonna look at today is very specific. It's actually a seaweed-based gel. It definitely smells of the sea. It's not too unpleasant, but uh, we don't have smell of vision, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. The purpose of this particular trial, though, is we're going to look at crop establishment. So we're gonna use one of my favorites, radish. We're gonna take some radish seeds. We're gonna pop them up in my little test pots and see how seeds which are treated with this seaweed product compare with those that are not treated. In order to test this and make it as fair as possible, we're going to use a compost material, a fresh compost. Actually, I'm taking it as an old sample from my laboratory, but we've done a whole background analysis on it before. I'll pop the results up on the screen now just for you to have a quick look at. But the point here is that we're going to be using the same compost throughout all the pots that we have in this trial. And we're gonna set three of each up. So without further ado, let's get on. I'll do a quick time-lapse and you can look at me set this all up. So to set this trial up, I took my six pots that I've used previously, I gave them a thorough wash, put them outside to dry, took literally seconds because it is so hot, and then I took some of the compost I've just mentioned, which was quite a fungal compost from a client in the lab, so this is kind of leftovers, and filled the pots up. I actually had to use two bags in the end because there wasn't enough to go around, so I used a slightly coarser material for the bottom and then topped the top of the pots off with the finer stuff as well. I then labelled the pots as I should always tell you, label them up, Sharpie pen is the best thing to use. Here we've gone for a purple Sharpie because it's the psychedelic summer, why not? We've labelled with a C for the control and can you guess what we did for the treatment? That's right, we used a T. So with all the pots set up, we are ready to introduce our seeds. So because this is the fiddly bit, we're gonna do it in real time. The radishes that we're using are these suckers, French breakfast three. If you don't follow the channel, then you won't know from my previous video that I love radishes. So this is what we're going for today. Now, we're gonna plant up the control pots first. Probably no need to watch that. I'm just gonna use the stem of the pen to pop those seeds. I'm gonna put two, I think, in each hole before I cover it over. And now we're going to get all sticky with the seaweed. So I'm gonna get my holes ready first. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So there's my holes ready. I'm gonna get the gel ready. Here we go. And I think I'm going to just take, take some of this gel on my finger and then just smear it over these seeds in my palm. Uh, separate three here to go in. Obviously the art is getting them off of your finger. Yeah, this is a mess, as expected. But we seem to have three in there. We are gonna take three and put them in this hole. Wash that over. And then 
three in the last pot here. Oh, and job is done. So now that everything's set up and my hands smell like the seaside, we're gonna water these up and leave them to one side for a week or so and see how they get on. I'm not expecting a tremendous amount if I'm brutally honest. I don't see how a little bit of seaweed gel around a seed can have much of an impact, but hey, that's the pessimist in me. What do you think? Maybe you think differently. Maybe you've tried seaweed before and have had fantastic results. Um, I'm going to look at these in a week's time. There may or may not be a video next week relating to this. If they're a little bit slow to grow, we'll do one the week after, so do stay tuned for that. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like, and until the next video, I'll see you soon.